Joining me now is the host of Prime Time with Alex Stein on Blaze TV, the incorrigible Texan himself, Alex Stein. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the program. Will that ad be effective? Kamal's support of BLM's radical agenda and their mostly peaceful rioting and looting surely is a liability. Law and order is a big issue uh, along with inflation and the border crisis. Well, Rita, here in America, they call you the Tucker Carlson of Australian news. You know, you're super famous here. I know people probably don't give you enough respect, but you are very famous. And Tucker Carlson says the same thing as that. Our whole entire justice system only helps out criminals. When you have bail reform, a system that helps out criminals get out of jail, then they don't care about prosecuting crime. So it's just sad that you can commit a crime in America and get let out of jail under no bail requirements whatsoever. You don't have to show back up to court. You don't have a bail bonds and it's required to go back to court. So we have a rigged system uh, and it's very sad that it's affecting people not only in America, but it's affecting people in Australia. Oh, the, the crime in some of those cities in the States is just out of control and they've redefined certain crimes to not make them crimes any longer. So you can't even trust some of the, the, the crime stats these days. Uh, now, another issue that is concerning me is the Democrats going back to their segregationist roots with this new trend of race-based groups supporting Kamala Harris. There's white dudes for Harris. Uh, they held a mass video call to support her presidential campaign and end what they call the culture of masculinity. And a Zoom event also was held for white women answer the call. Uh, that took place also in support of Harris. And there's also a group called Win With Black Women. Um, do we now have groups set aside based purely on race? Uh, is a black man presumably prevented from joining white dudes for Harris? It sounds like systematic racism. Well, Rita, you know this. And Joe Biden said that if you don't vote for him, you're not black. And, you know, I... I just want to say I'm so thankful that Australia, you guys let me come on Sky News. It's so great. But but Chris Lilly, one of the greatest comedians of all time, you know, as good as any American comedian has ever been, he calls out all of this race and gender nonsense. So that's where we're at, is that we're electing people based on their race and their gender instead of being a meritocracy based on their record of being successful. So, you know, we're screwed basing everything on the color of a person's skin. It's really sad, Rita, and you know this. You're awake to all this nonsense, but I don't think the majority of people that are watching, you know, just normal TV realize that this system is affecting you personally, the people that are, you know, watching at home. Has there been much a backlash to these race-based groups that have popped up in support of Harris? Uh, is anyone objecting to the fact that, you know, you've got white dudes and white women and black. I mean, why can't they just support Kamala together? Why, why, why do they need to be separated along racial lines? Rita, you nailed it. It's all nonsense. Basing everything by race is racist. So it's all nonsense saying white people for Harris, you know, white women for Harris. It's all nonsense. Harris is a Jamaican, Indonesian woman. So when they make everything about race, it just proves that they're racist. So people here in America, they could care less about Kamala Harris being coming vice president, in my personal opinion. Did you just did you just try to make her even more exotic and make her Indonesian? Isn't she uh, Indian heritage there? Kind of close. Well, it's not, it not Indonesian? Exactly <laughs> we don't, we don't even know. Indonesian. We have no idea what she is. I, is she Indonesian? Is she no. Jamaican? We don't She's know. Not She's not Indonesian. Not, not from America. Not that there's anything wrong with okay. that. She no, is, we love Indonesia. But yeah, she's, she's Indian, Indian Jamaican heritage, we, and, and we love all of it. Uh, now, let's yes. talk about the Republicans' vice presidential candidate, J.D. Vance. He's had a go at Kamala Harris uh, for saying that he wasn't a true patriot and he wasn't loyal to the USA. I saw the other day Kamala Harris question my loyalty to this country. That's the word she used, loyalty. And it's an interesting word, simplify, loyalty, because there is no greater sign of disloyalty to this country than what Kamala Harris has done at our southern border. 
And I'd like to ask the Vice President, what has she done to question my loyalty to this country? I served in the United States Marine Corps. I went to Iraq for this country. I built a business for this country. And my running mate took a bullet for this country. So my question to Kamala Harris is, what the hell have you done to question our loyalty to the United States of America? Uh, you've got to say, it's a pretty compelling line, that one. Uh, how is that race going with uh, the, the way J.D. Vance is being treated? Well, we're looking forward to the Vance-Harris uh, debates. They're obviously not going to happen now. Uh, but once we do know who Kamala's running mate is, uh, uh, how do you see that uh, contest working? Is it going to have any sort of impact or is the vice president really, not something that people base their vote, votes on. Well, Rita, the vice president actually is important. You know, these people have to represent uh, the entire, you know, constituents that they base as being president. If you're the vice president, you represent the whole entire country. So it is very important. And when these people have to do these debates, they know if they're going to win or lose. And Kamala Harris has never won a debate in her life. She's untalented. She basically got her position because she slept with the mayor of San Francisco, Willie Brown, who funded her campaign to become, uh, you know, uh, district attorney of California, excuse me, attorney general of California. So, yes, she's not talented enough to win any debate. And I would love to see J.D. Vance totally annihilate her. But at the end of the day, that's probably not going to happen because now she's going to try to do a debate with Trump and Trump will probably say, hey, I will not do a debate with her because Obama has not endorsed her and the uh, liberal people have not endorsed her. So we're having a cluster, F, for lack of a better word, is we need to debate her, but I think they're going to use every sort of rule to not have to actually debate. So that's the sad thing is I hope this happens, Rita, but I don't think the debate will ever happen until uh, you know November 5th. Look, I reckon there will be a debate, but I think Trump is going to wait for her to be uh, formally the candidate of the Democrats' uh, convention, and then you debate her, because I don't see what the point of it is uh, now. And I don't think that we should underestimate Kamala Harris, because she's not Joe Biden. Yes, she's not fantastic either when it comes uh, to displaying those uh, debate talents. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard absolutely demolished her. But she can uh, learn lines, she can rehearse a really sharp, biting line and, and deliver it at the right moment and have that little uh, sound bite for the nightly news. And, and that's all you need, really, to have some cut through. So I think she's going to be far more effective than Biden was during the last debate. Uh, but they are Rita, trying to, I have completely... to cut you off. Rita, 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 I have to cut you off. You are much smarter and much more talented than Kamala Harris. If you had to debate Donald Trump, you might win. You would kill Kamala Harris in a debate. I just want this to know for the Australian audience watching out there, Rita, you're a million times smarter than Kamala Harris ever could be. So you saying that nice stuff about her it almost makes you sick because you're so well liked here in America. You should be the vice president, not Kamala Harris. You would crush her and so would Donald Trump. So flattery will get you everywhere. A good Texan knows that, and Alex is a very good Texan. Now, before you go, I was going to ask you quickly about Kamala's track record because there's something else they're trying to wipe clean. Uh, GovTrack, which has always been an independent organisation, it hasn't been left-leaning, right-leaning, it's been pretty well trusted, and it tracks congressional voting records it said that Kamala Harris had the most liberal, that's left-leaning, uh, record in the Senate. Uh, that was back in 2019. Now they've removed that page. Thankfully, there is archived versions that are being shared on X and elsewhere. But it's getting a bit scary at the moment that... Uh, verifiable facts are being uh, memory hold, are being disappeared, Alex. Well, Rita, you know why they're memory holding that is because they want a candidate that, you know, aligns more with the middle of America, and she does not do that. So that's why mm. they hide this. It's just like a guy like George Santos, 
say what you will about George Santos, he might have been, you know, had a, you know, dark past, but he voted conservative on most of the stuff that he voted and he still got kicked out. So they're trying to hide the truth. This should wake up everybody that's watching this, not just Australians, not just Americans, not just English people, that they try to hide the real voting record of our politicians so that they can create a new narrative. So that's the reality. That's the sad part of this is that, yeah, she is liberal as heck, but they want to make her seem like she's more in the middle when she's not at all. Yeah, she ain't no moderate. Alex Stein, thank you so much for your time this evening. Rita, always a pleasure. Rita, you need to be vice president. We need Rita Panahi as vice president of the United States of America and our country would be a lot better. Okay, I'm coming over. Uh, I am. I was born there, so, I, you know, I, I do qualify. So, yeah, why not? Yes, let's, yeah, we're let's voting. Plan it. Rita, Rita. You can be my running mate. Vice. There we go. All day long. Please. Rita, Rita <laughs> for vice president. Please. Lord in heaven, please.